Happy Friday everyone, it is April 24th and we are looking at today's companion deck dump, I'm sorry, Modern League deck dump. Uh, yeah, in case you didn't get the gist, um, there are 61 decks in today's deck dump, so we'll go through them pretty quickly. 30 of them have companions and I think we're starting to get a little absurd here. So uh, let's see where it's going, see what is actually happening in the in the leagues and i'll let you guys make your own uh conclusions on where you think things need to go so let's start with goblin king he's playing goblins thank you for matching your handle uh this is the combo goblins version it's got four chalices in the side no companion an ensnaring bridge in the side as well and yeah good old combo goblins snipers are bums has a uh, niv mizzet deck with no companion and this one is this is definitely the controlly version two wishes a verdict an ego main and three three bring to light three nibs that's on the low end for that those two cards combined uh just two teferis sometimes you see three or four but uh yeah good old niv boil in the sideboard gotta like that mash malofsky with ad nauseum and this looks to be a relatively straightforward ad nauseum deck. We do have a Grand Abolisher inside. I don't know if that's been standard lately. I know the Bantu's Last Reckoning definitely is. Uh, yeah, there you go. Lord Suheto with... Hey, this is blue. Is this... No, this is... Or Mono Red Blitz, I guess they're calling it now. Because it's not blue red. It's mono red. And yeah, Mono Red Blitz, good old fast deck. Yo is playing uh, Heliod Ballista Combo. Oh, this is the Jam All the Combos in deck. We've got Kitchen Finks, we've got Grand Abolisher, we've got Ballista, Spike Feeder, Heliod, all the, all the good stuff here. Viscera Seer for your combo outlet. Two Eladomri's Call to find the pieces. Uh, a Choke in the side. Yeah. Rockstar with our first companion deck of the dump. This one is Death Shadow. This is Grixis. Yep. Grixis Death Shadow. Lurus as the companion. Um, remember I said 30 uh, companions in this list? 23 of them are Lurus. So we'll be seeing, uh, we'll take note of the different archetypes that Lurus appears in. It was 12 last time, if I recall. Let's see how many different ones we get this time. So Grix's Death Shadow with Loris here. It's also got Delver in it. This is kind of a mishmash. There's also a Grix's Delver list floating around. Um, but this is primarily a Shadow deck. Own with Hardened Scales Loris. So that's a 4 Ozolith going hard on that one. Uh, anything else in here of note? A th couple Throne of Geth. Interesting. Proliferating. Proliferating on the Ozolith. I never would have thought of that. It works. You, ha you only get to choose one kind of counter. No, give each another counter of a kind already there. Yeah. So you only get to choose one of the counters counter types that are on the Ozolith, but you get to proliferate there too. Be Real 2 with another Lurus deck. This one is Jund. This is Black Red on Earth. I wouldn't call this Jund really. You don't see Swift Spears in Jund. You'd see Tarmogoyf. So this is Black Red on Earth. Two Seal of Fire and Lurus sounds like a really good combination. Just two damage to anything. 
every turn. Heterotic, that's a questionable handle with Allurus deck. And this one is, is green red on Earth? I guess it's it's sort of a Jun deck. But this is more of a a Jund unearth, because we've got the Tarmogoyf. Any other cool stuff in here? This is kind of a neat little deck. Seal of Fire, of course. And Mishra's Bobble. So I can draw a card or I can deal two damage or something. Every turn. Take your pick. 603 Leb with. What do we got here? This is Amulet Titan. No need for a companion here. Four Grazers. I'm wondering if Titan is going to pick up a Mutate creature for Grazer. It'll be interesting to see if someone tries that. Or there might, not, there might not just be room in the deck for it, to be honest. But maybe something worth looking into. Parole with another Lurus deck. We are on... This is four color shadow, I think. Are we on four color green, black? Yep. Yep, four color shadow. And again, Seal of Fire and Mistress Bobble. Get used to seeing those cards in Loris decks. It's going to be a theme. Brainstorm 39 with a Yorion deck. This one is Four Color Snow. Four Color Snow Control with Yorion and a whole bunch of control style stuff. Yep. I Ripper, something like that. With another Lurus deck. This one is the Devoted Druid combo. So our biggest, yeah. We've got the finale, postmortem lunge, Eladomri's call, cord. The only thing CMC over CMC two, and it's a non-permanent, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, uh, so devoted druid combo. Obviously can't run uh, Heliod because that's CMC three, so you couldn't run it with Loris. And we have another Lurus deck from Bernardo Dog, Bernardo DG, and this is Jund. Or is this? Oh, well, this is Junk. Gaddock Teague. I like that. Gaddock Teague main. Yeah, this is Junk. And we've got, again, Mishra's Bobble. So that is our seventh different archetype so far for Lurus decks. Anders Pavark with Dredge. And Dredge don't need no companions. Anything. We got three oxes. Two or three. That seems to be a big question there. But yeah, Dredge. Sonic Smasher with uh, Titan Field. And we've got Karn. No scape shift, no amulet. So this one's Titan Field. And yeah, pretty straightforward. Mihayashi, Mihayashi, sorry, with another Lurus deck. And again, Mishra's Bobble Seal of Fire. This one is Mono Red Burn. Uh, I guess we're Boros. No Boros charm, though. We're just running four paths. And I guess that's so you can cast the Lurus with the white. So Boros Burn. Aaron Gulovich with another Lurus deck. This is a Death Shadow. Is this Jund Shadow? Yes. Are we four color or are we just Jund? We are Jund. So Jund Shadow. Is another Loris deck. Asowen with Liliana Skelemental. This is Black Red on Earth. I like that deck. Love Lightning Skelemental. Such a great card. 
it just it, it needs a better home but yeah banning faithful suiting really hurt lightning skull metal's chances but it's getting there Karusu with a Yorion deck, and this is Kiki Cord. Yep, we saw in the last modern dump, we saw four Kiki Cord decks. So we'll see how many we get this time, but we've just hit our first one. Fnoop with Neobrand. And this one is bad enough without companions. It's not running one. It probably can't run any, given the way the deck has to be built. But yeah, Neo Brand. KBR3 with a Luris deck. This is Hardened Scales again. Uh, again, four Ozolith. So they're really starting to lean hard in the Ozolith. And two Throne of Geth. So uh, yeah, that's our second one. A3 Um. Aum that's supposed to be an E. We are Crabvine. Hey, I haven't seen Crabvine in a couple of weeks. With Brokos. So you can mutate this from the graveyard and make something a 6-6 trample on top of whatever else it might do. Neoform to help you a little bit. Interesting deck. Interesting deck. Be fun to play around with. Habitron with a Yorion deck. This is Euroza. And it is running Kinnon and some mana rocks. A whole lot of mana rocks to get extra mana out of it. And what are we putting that mana into? I don't see a mana sink in the deck. Just doing it for value. Yeah. Kitchen Finks for a little protection. Life total protection. So you can put a non-human... I'm going to assume every creature in the deck other than Kinnon is non-human. No, Urza is a human. So, yeah. But Eurosa. Gigi with a Luris deck, and this one is Burn. And this one's running Bobbles instead of Seals, but you could easily run Seals in this deck instead of... Let's see, I think the, the build we saw before didn't run Boris Charms, and it run, ran Seal of Fire instead. So this is going for more of the burst damage versus the repeatable damage. But yeah, we've got our second Burn Luris deck. Gaucho with another Luris deck. This one is Grixis Delver. Sprite Dragon is a great addition to this deck. Might be, dare I say, a better Delver. Uh, again, four Bobbles. Get used to it. There's a reason why Mishra's Bobble's gotten up to 60 ticks online. And you're seeing it in this dump. So, uh, Grixis Delver. Another one to our list. Gouch. Uh, yep. FGF Fon FG Fonseca. 182. Excuse me. With Ponza. This is real Ponza. Not the green-red mid-range Ponza light we've been seeing. This one's got the seven... The full seven... Um, land destruction spells. And Karn with the liquid metal coating angle. And four blood moons. Uh, not running the Magus of the Moon. You know, it's not the more aggro version of Ponza. This one is just trying to shut off your lands, period. And probably trying to kill you with Hex Drinker. Uh, or just drain you down with Clothus. But, yeah. Uh, Dex kind of moved off Mon Volley Acid Moss. That used to be a staple of Ponza decks, but you just don't see that card anymore. Tuna Lord with another Luris deck. This one is <laughs> when you see Colossus Hammer and Cigar to Zade, you know someone's up to no good. We've got Stone Forge. So this is an equipment combo deck. Steel Shaper's Gift to go find equipment. Stone Forge to go find equipment. 
uh, Ginger Brute probably to carry the equipment because putting a Colossus Hammer on a Ginger Brute just sounds like a good old time. So, yeah, so I don't know what to call this thing, but it, it's Boros Equip, I think is probably going to be. Or is it, are we Mono White? I oh, know we are Boros because you want oh double strike with the Colossus hammer. Ouch. Yeah. So uh, Boros equip. That's another one. Nice job, Tuna Lord. That looks like a fun one. Erevan Elendil, fifteen, with another Luris deck. Gee, what a surprise! This one is another variant on Burn or prowess however you want to look at it this one's probably more prowess but again baubles and seal of fires along with Luris. and yeah so i'm going to call that our third burn deck it could be prowess it just depends on how you look at it a legend with electro balance and yeah this looks like a pretty straightforward build of electro balance a third gargadon sometimes you only see two Shuffler Owned is back with another goodie here. This one is Lotus... Well, not Lotus Breach. This is the Grinding Station Breach combo deck. And it's running Lurus main deck instead of in the side. And it's running four of them. Lurus, I think, is the only companion that cannot be played in its own deck. So, yeah. This one's using Lurus in a more fair fashion to do its broken thing. But then this deck is just full of brokenness. So Lurus is... It, it never shows up in the uh, reveal here. It's legendary, so that helps out with Mox Amber. Cool Cyclone 2000 with a Yorion. Uh, we are Kiki Cord. So here's our second Kiki Gore deck. And if you like this kind of archetype, go back and check the difference in the builds. This one is running Avalanche Riders, which I think is kind of funny, along with Soul Herder. So this is this has the um, destroy land aspect to things. Sour Eggnog is running a Lurus Bogles deck. And for all that glitters, yep, Bogles is Bogles. For Ley Line of Sanctity in the side for extra enchantment protection. Death and Cat Mix. Love it. Uh, this is a... Sarah Avenger is not something you see often. So this is... Stoneblade. Mono White Stoneblade. Kind of a Death and Taxes build. Three Lurus main. So it's wanting to reuse its its hate pieces. So Big Thalia is the only on oh, Flicker Wisp. The only things it can't get back. Bosserman with a Lurus Jund. It still floors me that Jund has decided it doesn't need Liliana and can run Lurus instead. I'm I'm sorry. Modern is supposed to be like that. Liliana is a pillar, but apparently not. So Jund is another another Lurus deck for us today. A Philodon with a Bant Snowblade, or uh, Bant Snow Control. Yep. No Stone Forge, no Companion, just good old fashioned Snow Control. Carlos Almeida with our red green mid range deck. No Companions, no Pillages in this deck. This one's just running the four Magus of the Moon. So this one's gone a little more on the um, providing pressure side. Refilling its hand with Seasoned Pyromancer. Uh, Corsair of Crufix is an interesting 
play in this deck. It feels a little passive for what this deck is trying to do, but I'm not sure. Hugo, it is a good blocker, I'll give you that. Hugo 87 with Storm. And this is running Grape Shot. It is not running Empty the Warren's Main. Yeah. Pretty much Storm. Don't see anything special here. Lone Cabone with a Lurus Infect deck. Yet another archetype for Lurus to be a companion for. And I don't see anything unusual beyond that. Adria Ferrer is running fairies, I think. No? Sort of fairies? Or ninjas? Or just... Yeah, it's fairies. It's not running Bitter Blossom. It does have them in the side. Um, but yeah, this is fairies. Uh, no companion. Just a good old tempo control deck. Mr. Bigo with a Lurus Hardened Scales deck. This is our second one. And again, for Mishra's Bobble. This one's running three Ozolith. So that's our third Hardened Scales. Pendlehaven. Interesting little build. Three Welding Jars. The Purple Mage with a Zerta deck. That's an, a companion we don't see often. Everything, every uh, permanent card in your starting deck has an activated ability. So Ballista, of course, does. Spike Feeder does. You know, we're just running down the list here, and everything's got something. So this is a Heliog combo deck with Zerda at the helm. Four Cocos. Green, white. Nice little combo deck. Eduardo Osario with another Zerda deck. And this one is quite similar to the last build, except this one's very elf heavy. This is elves. I didn't normally see Noble, Hierarch, and Stoneforge Mystic in elves, but this is elves. That's kind of clever. I like that. Line of Abundance to get even more mana. Umbral Mantle to untap things. These both have equip costs, so they work with Zerda. Yep, good stuff. The Pen Sword with Blue Red Control using Yadaro as its finisher. Snapcaster Mage, a little Blood Moon. I guess this is Blue Moon. Yeah, I guess Blue Moon is probably the best way to describe that. Mad Maxernus, Maxernst, Mad Maxernst. With Allurus deck, this is Saltai. Green, blue, black, red. This is four color. This is just a different four color snow control deck. Again, Mishra's Bobble and Lurus, and another Seal of Fire. Kind of a just four-color snow mid-range. I don't know if I'd call it control. Karn Daddy is not playing Karn. Hey, come on, guys. Let's get it right. Uh, this is a Rally of the Ancestors combo deck with Lurus. Viscera Seers and Blood Artists and Zulaport Cutthroats. And I don't see... Uh, Serrated Scorpion is another good one. Not seeing... Um, what's her name? The new 2-1 Black White. Can't remember the name of the card right off. But it also drains when creatures die. Uh, so Or when they enter, I guess. But anyway, good uh, Good to see this archetype show up in Modern every now and then. Izzy Exy 
with a Loris Stone Blade. This is an interesting one. Isumaru and Mox Amber and Smuggler's Copter. This is another take on Death and Taxes. So, uh, yeah. Another another Luris build. Rosie, 54, with a Kahira deck. It's a cat deck. Cat tribal. I love it. Rico Caracal, Pride Sovereign, Leonid Arbiter, King of the Pride. Maybe this is what... So, I saw King of the Pride in Modern Horizons last year, and I'm like, oh, there's got to be a cat deck now, right? It just has to be. And now we get it with Kahira helping out. So maybe, maybe we're getting there. Three mana tithe. They never expect the third one, right? QB Turtle 15 with a Zerda, our third Zerda deck. And this one is a... Um, It's a combo deck. It's it's got a bunch of different combos in it. Heliod, uh, Spike Feeder, Walking Ballista, Knight of the Reliquary. It's a bunch of different things. Umbral Mantle. Kind of a combo. Green White Value combo. The South Dakota, the South Dakota, with a with Infect. And not running Luris. I am surprised. Might not have been able to get their hands on one. Four Tomergoyf in the sideboard. That's interesting. Iskep 529 with Tron. And three Golos main. I cannot say I've ever seen three Golos in a Tron deck before. This is an interesting build. One Thrag Tusk, two Worm Coils, two Ulamogs. All that stuff is kind of... There's no... Oh, there's the Oblivion Stones. Okay. Huh. Interesting threat package from the Tron deck there. Surfista with uh, Eldrazi Tron. And this is a pretty straightforward build. I don't see anything unusual here. Sky Sovereign in the side. Something you can search up with Karn. I feel like there should be more creatures in here. There's no... Oh, no, there's Reshapers. Thought Knots, Reality Smashers. Yep. Akas with a Lurus. Is this Jund or are we Black Green? I think we're Black Green. Again, Mishra's Bobble. So this is a rock deck. Lurus Rock. Uh, Anamika with... Naya Stoneblade. See this off and on. So it, it's hanging around the fringes of the meta. Uh, aggro... Yeah, it's an aggro deck. A little on the bigger side, but it's an aggro deck. Wheel of Sun and Moon on the side. I like it. Cat Dog Sniper with a Lurus Salt Eye. No, Red Green. We are Teamer. This is Teamer Control. Or Teamer Mid. Teamer Snow. Seal of Fire. Mishra's Bobble. Lurus. There we go. Teamer Snow. We've got a long list of archetypes for Luris today. A long list. I'll go over it at the end, but it's big. Uh, here is uh, an Atarka Gallia aggro deck. This is Naya. So this is Naya Zoo. Yep, not the Stoneblade version. We saw a couple decks up. This is just Naya Zoo. Tribal Master with... Hey, it's blue. Daniela's deck. Kiln Fiend, Sprite Dragon, Thing in the Ice. 
and a bunch of instants. Team or Battle Rage for the final killing blow with the Thing of the Isis. Or maybe even the Sprite Dragons. That would be kind of fun. That's a fun deck. I've played this deck a few times. There are games where it just looks horrible, and there are games when it looks unbeatable, and there's not a whole lot in between. Doubt with humans. I was wondering if we are going to see humans. we got three General Kudros. And I don't see... Let's see if we got anything else new. Nope, not really catching any other new cards here. But three General Kudros. Makes the humans bigger, and a little bit of graveyard hate. Dead Debizzle with Bogles and no companion, just straightforward Bogles. This isn't even running all that glitters. This is a Bant build, that's why. So it's running Curious Obsession and Aqueous Form instead. Staggering Insight. It's really going for the card draw, going really hard on the card draw. Only 11 creatures, though. That's such a risk. Captain Schwiggles with... Uh, this is Jeskai Sahili. And we're running Yorion as our companion. Yep. Well, combo deck. It Reminiscent of Splinter Twin in that it's a control-ish deck with a combo finish. And our last list today is... Narset? What do we got going here? This is Teamer Snow Control. Wilderness Wreck. Teamer Reclamation. Yeah, with a Nexus of Fate. So... We saw a ton of companions. I think we saw 30, if I counted right. Um, we, just to give you the list here of decks using Lurus as a companion. Grixis Death Shadow, Hardened Scales, Black Red Unearth, Jund Unearth, Four Color Shadow, Devoted Druid Combo, Junk, Burn, Jund Shadow, Grixis Delver, Boros Equipments, Bogles, Jund, just straight old Jund, Infect, Four Color Snow, Rally the Ancestors combo, Death and Taxes, Rock, and Teamer Snow. That's a whole lot of different decks all using one basic mechanic in common in Loris. And that just does not feel healthy to the metagame to me. I think something's got to give here soon. Uh, thank you for sticking with me through this long deck dump. And if you like what I'm doing here, do please hit like and subscribe and that notification bell so you know when my video is coming. And that's about all I got for today. Take care out there. Stay safe. Have a good weekend. And we'll be back on Monday looking at Pioneer. And we'll see what has happened to the metagame over the weekend. See you later. Take care, everyone.